Today I will be showing you how you can literally scrape everything you want in NNN. You can scrape everything from LinkedIn, from YouTube, from Instagram, whatever you like. The website that I'll be using for this is Appify. And Appify is basically a website with all kinds of scrapers. And at the moment they have around 3000 scrapers that you can pick from. We are in NNN and the first thing that you will do is a test workflow trigger. After that, you will add a HTTP node and this will be the Appify scraper. In the Appify node, we got to configure some data input fields. But the first thing that we have to do is creating our Appify account. So then we go to Appify and you will press on go to console or create your account. After you did that, you will go to the Appify store. And in the Appify store, you can pick from all kinds of scrapers. So in this video, we will use Instagram real scraper, but you can also do LinkedIn. And then you will get everything from LinkedIn. So here you have LinkedIn post scraper, LinkedIn job scraper, LinkedIn sales navigator scraper. Uh, you can also pick uh, YouTube, for example. So you go to YouTube here, you have a YouTube scraper, YouTube video downloader, YouTube short scraper. But in this video, we will use Instagram real scraper to showcase how it works. So here you have the Instagram real scraper It is from Appify. And I personally like to choose from scrapers that Appify has created because that means that it's probably very up to date. After you have pressed on the scraper, you will get sent to this dashboard. And in this dashboard, we're going to configure some data input fields. And the first thing that we have to do for this example is adding an Instagram username. So here you will add the username from the account that you want to scrape videos from. And then the maximum reels per profile is five. And this is how many reels you want to scrape from this account. After you have filled in these input fields, you will go to the docs from Appify. So here we will go to run actor synchronously with input and get data sets items. And here we got to configure some data input field. The first input field that we have to add is the bearer token. And the bearer token is basically the API. And the API of Appify can be found by going back to your actor, then going to the settings, then press on API and integrations. And here you can create your new token. After you've copied this token, you will go back to the docs of Appify and you will enter it in this data input field. And then the second thing that you have to add is your actor ID. This actor ID can be found by going back to your Appify, but then going back to your actor, so Instagram real scraper, and then you have to look in the URL of the Instagram actor. So you have to copy this part and then you will put it into the actor ID. And then the last input field that has to be created is the body and the body can be found by going back to your Appify actor. So you will press on JSON and here you will have a script and the script is your body so you got to copy that and then you go back to your appify docs and here you will delete these two brackets and then you'll enter the body that you've just copied now you've entered your body and all the data input fields are set up now you can create your curl and this curl we can use to fill in all of the data input fields into our http node in nnn here's the curl that you need so you will copy the curl and it will go back to nnn into your http node and then you can import the curl. So you will get this command and here you will paste the curl that you've just created. So I'll paste it in here. Then you'll press on import. I have already imported my curl. So all my data input fields are already set up. But if you press import, all of these data input fields will be ready to go and will be set up. There's only one thing that you have to change. Behind this, you got to enter your bearer token. And as I just said, the bearer token is the API. After you have entered your API code, your Appify node will be set up and is ready to go. And to show you guys that this workflow works, we will test the workflow. So we'll do test workflow. Here we can see that it will scrape all of the data in Appify. After you have scraped all of these videos, it will put it into a database or in our Google Sheets. And then we have collected all of the scraped data. We can also look in our Google Sheets to check that we have nothing for now. So here we are in our Google Sheets and we see that we have scraped the no data. And we go back and here the workflow is finished. And now we can look in our database to see that it has scraped all kinds of data. In our Google Sheets, we can see that it has scraped the ID, the caption, the hashtags, the URL, the comments count, the video URL, the likes count, the video views counts, the video play count, the username and the video duration. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below and we will try to react on everything. And if you also like this video, then do not forget to subscribe.